Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we are going to look at our computer for a change, but we are going to do something really interesting. As you guys know, the right click of a button on a Mac, it's really boring, really limited. We just have a few options right over there and we can have a lot more. That is what we are going to do with the magic menu from iBoySoft. I will leave a link down below, but basically it will turn our right click into something really smart, which will give us a lot of options and will make our life easier on a daily basis. So if you look at my screen right now, and if I click, it is different from what we have originally. And I will share with you how we can create this and how you can create design for yourself. You don't need to use it like I do. So let's go. First of all, download it's free. You can try it out. Link down below. After that, install it really straightforward. And right now I've got here on my menu and I can open the menu wise so that we can configure the way that we are going to work. The first thing that appears is the new file. What happens when I cl click on the right? Uh, usually we only have new folder. That is it. Nothing else. But now if I go here, I've got new file and we can create anything that we want. For example, if I want to create a text file and if I press right over here, it will create a text file. It did give me that sound, which we can customize that. And uh, the file is right over here. If I go to the menu, I can go to preferences and on the new file, enable audio and automatically open after creating a new file. So this is an option that I have. As you can see, it did open right over here. I can select and uh, write any text and then I can just uh, close it and it will be saved. Now, one of the things that we can notice is that we have a lot of options. So probably I want to disable a few of these that I don't use and of course we can select any, any that we don't use and you will see if I go back, new file, we will have a reduced uh, list. So we want to keep things really easy, straightforward. In my personal opinion, we don't want too much thing. We want those that we really usually use. So I can just deselect and if I go back and new file, the list is getting cleaner and cleaner. And if you don't have the file that you use most here, then we can just go to the add button and we can um, browse and then we can create. And by the way, let's do an example right over here. What I want to do right now is to use a template and this will work for any kind of document, any kind of software. Now I did create one here on a Word document and imagine this document that you usually use it on your day-to-day -day work and several times a day then what we can do is a shortcut for it. So I want to browse and go to desktop and template doc select and I can give a name to template which is not very original um, but I can say RJ which is Roberto George template Roberto George press OK we will find it on the list and it will be right over here template RJ so if I go to the new file I can go and select template RG. So if I press right over here, it will create a copy. Did you notice that this document is new? It did create a copy from the template, so it will not use the original. We can modify whatever we want and then send it once we've finished. And um, it automatically saved to the desktop and we are ready to start using it, which is just awesome. Now, another thing that we can do is that, uh, for example, if I use this a lot, then probably I want to use it on my main menu. And when I press, I will see new template RJ on the main menu. This can happen with another uh, app. Or let's say, for example, Adobe Photoshop. I can just press and new Adobe Photoshop document. So instead of opening Photoshop and then say file new document, I can just press the button and bam, that is it. So this is just a awesome experience. Have in mind that we cannot edit or delete the ones that come uh, pre-installed, but I can go to the one and that I created and I can delete, I can edit, I can give a new name to it. So I can say new display just so that we can see what happens. If I go there right now, it will say new, new display. So it's a new name that we have. But let's go back, edit and 
uh, the new display let's call it template once again which is a little bit more friendly so there we go new template that is it regarding the new file creation we have a lot of customizations to do we could stay here for the whole morning but uh, you get the idea it's just a matter of downloading it and try out for yourself and see how it works for you now let's go to the copy and move because this is one of the biggest limitations in my opinion and if i go right over here to this document and let me close this one uh, if i right click these would be the normal options that we have but at this moment um, we have the quick actions copy to move to and let's select copy to if i look here we will have the default folders which honestly in my opinion it's not that useful although the magic menu team has to put something right over here the biggest advantage is that i can disable all these probably i'm going to leave the documents and i'm going to delete all delete no but disable all these and i'm going to say I want to add a folder so i'm going to search for my folder which is folder number one which is here on my desktop number one and number two and i want to select it and uh, the name can be folder one i'm going to leave it as folder one so now if i go to right click and i uh, select copy it will select or it will give me the option to copy to folder one which is really nice but let's say that okay it's folder one but i want a friendlier name so i can just call it office um office doc office docs okay something like that and i press okay so the folder is still called folder one but the name that i'm giving it is office docs so if i go to the doc and i want to copy somewhere here i am office docs which is really awesome so let's copy i'm going to press here and it's going to copy and open once again this is optional we can go to the preferences and on the preferences on the copy move we have all these options that we can enable or disable at this moment i've got everything enabled just for the video purposes and that is it so at this moment i've got folder one with a document which I can just erase and once again it's called folder one but I did name it as a friendlier name office documents now we have other option which is to move to if I go to office docs what happens is that the original file will disappear from here and it will move to the folder one this is something really great for those that are doing this on a daily basis and instead of copying paste copy paste we can just move it move it move it which is uh, like the song move it move it move it but let's move on so these are the biggest advantages that we have right over here in terms of copy and uh, move to now quick access it's also really interesting especially because i can access really quickly to anywhere that i want with a single click or right mouse button so if i want to quick access to i don't know documents i can just press here and bam there i go to the documents let's say that we have a folder very specified folder inside a folder and a folder and a folder and a folder that i want to open um, several times a day and i don't want to be opening windows i can just place it here and it will open it for me so this is a great example that we can go but there is also one that i really enjoy if i go to my browser and i go to my channel portuguese channel by the way and if i press right over here and add let's say that i want to add my website or my uh, youtube channel what will happen is that if i press ok and if i go to quick access right over here i will have youtube channel so if i press it guess what it will open my in portuguese it will open my own youtube channel but i can do this for any other path i can do for any website or any folder that i have so this is a great option let's minimize this and of course like we did before at this moment it's called youtube channel and if i want on the main menu i can just press it here and it will be right over here open youtube channel if i disable it and go here it will go to the um, quick access so it's an extra strip this will be one of our options and as i was saying it's called youtube channel but i can edit and say okay i don't want youtube channel i want just 
channel or something like that. So let's press it OK. And now when I go to the quick access channel, there we go. So this is one of my favorites as well. Now, function library. And of course, we can customize this the way that we want. So you get the idea. Function library, it's really interesting as well. Uh, if I press the right button so that we can see, I will have the common, which is the one that we've got right over here. Uh, copy path, list, hidden files. So we have some options right over here that we would need to do uh, a shortcut to have it enabled. We would need to go to the terminal to have it enabled. And here we will have it on the menu. So if I go to folder two, for example, and I press right over here and go to common. And if I say hide selected items and boom, it will hide that item. Now, if I go to once again, common and unhide all items, there we go. It will appear. And at this moment, I've got some files that shouldn't be appearing. But so let's go to hide all items. And now let's go once again to list hidden files. And I want to select the ones that I want to unhide. And there we go. These were the ones that I had. So we have a lot of options right over here. And of course, we have several menus. Uh, I can open terminal, for example, if I go to uh, launch with, I can just open terminal right over here without searching for anything. We have all these options. We can disable some of them. We can disable all. So if I disable this one, what happens is that the launch width will disappear. We don't no longer have, we have common screen capture. That is it. If we enable it, we have um, the uh, launch width back right over here. And for those of you that want to personalize uh, actions, you can do so by creating a new category, for example, and let's call this example. And then to create the actions, we will actually need here some files finished on S. H, so it will execute a command line. So if you are a advanced user that already used something like this manually on the terminal, you'll see that this function right over here is really, really useful. At this moment, we have the basic options, but, but some of them will waste us a lot of time searching for the way that we can do it manually in here. Everything is automated. So that is great. Extensions. We have a few extensions right over here and probably in the future uh, Magic Menu will develop a few more. That being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video, especially the Magic Menu, which is really awesome. Link down below, free download and try it the way that you want. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one, but don't, don't leave without leaving a like right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen.